Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are taking a look at the cheapest designer outfit. Now, this is an outlet challenge. Basically, I'm going to a few malls that have outlets and I've also bought some stuff online that have massive sales, 40, 50, 60% off. So I've already got a few of the pieces right here, or this is actually all of it. I ordered some of the stuff online like two weeks ago. The clothes I went ahead and got actually today. So let's cut back really quick to me being at the outlets and showing you guys my experience finding these things because I found a lot of really good stuff at 50% off. Like I've never had this experience of buying so many like interesting things and things that I really mess with at outlet stores, especially, and everything was relatively cheap for a designer store. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you there, show you all that, and we'll come back here and talk about this. I'm on the way right now to Neiman Marcus Last Call. It's the first stop. The reason I'm going there, and I hope it's still there, was when I went a few weeks ago, there's a Balenciaga shirt that was like 60% off. And I think I still have the clip. And I wanna use this as a base piece because it was like 100 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to go there, get that. They have all kinds of other brands too that are like 60, 70% off, like sale items, all this stuff. So I'm gonna try to go there. I'm wearing some Nike blazers today and some old pants that are like skate pants because I'm going to see mid 90s tonight, which is it's not sponsored, I wish it was. Jonah Hill has a movie coming out it's about like skateboarding and rap music in the 90s, which is, you know, I went through all this growing up. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully we can get there. This is like a 30 minute drive and I have 37 miles till empty. This actually might be one of my last rides in my car with exhaust. I think I might be selling my car. It's just so hard to drive around the city and I have a little Hyundai that I drive that's like paid off and everything. So it's getting harder and harder for me to justify keeping this car, but my mom has a car that I might wanna buy from her and eventually might do that. But uh, one of my last drives with the exhaust on, I think the exhaust is coming off on Saturday. Might have to say goodbye to the a good old whip over there. So we just made it to this mall. Now this is called, it's like a Mills mall. So it's like all very similar stores that are here. We're gonna check out, there's Sex with the Outlet right there in Nima Marcus. So we're gonna try, hopefully test our luck because I've got a shirt, uh, over shirt for the under shirt. I'll explain later. So they have some Gucci pants that are 275, but they're like dress pants, a few of them. I have a few items, I really like this. D squared, it's actually a little extra. And this Balenciaga jacket. Don't know how much more it'll go down though. That's the problem. And then there's a Balenciaga sweater. So I've got some ideas, but I, I need to put the camera away. It's hard for me to balance looking at everything, trying it on. So I got to put the camera away. I've got some ideas. I showed you guys a little bit of shots, but I'm going to check in when I get back in the car after I've got everything. I'm trying to figure out how to go about this because each piece is very expensive, but it's all like 60% off and maybe even a little bit more than that. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm, because the outfit might still be expensive, but it is the cheapest of these brands. You cannot find Balenciaga 70% off, mostly anywhere. So finding things here, it's hard. One jacket's like $1,100, but it's like, 70% off, so trying to figure it out. So I'll check in in probably two seconds for you. I just finished shopping at this outlet mall where there was Nemo Market Slash Call, Sex Fifth Avenue, or Off Sex Fifth Avenue. And I feel really, really good about the outcome that I just had because when I go to these places, typically I'll find things where I'm like, eh, I don't know. Like, for example, I've gotten like Versace underwear and I usually raffle those off because there's things that I probably wouldn't wear. Not really worth the money, in my opinion. But I found things that were at like, I was like excited and I found literally things to make like two or three outfits. I need one more piece. So far, I got like sunglasses, pants, jacket, a flannel. I've got a button down shirt at home. I got two t-shirts like I just found a lot of stuff that I'm gonna love to wear so I gotta head there now and head home and get filming feeling good about this though feeling good my car is so loud 
I'm headed back right now. I've got two items at home and I got the rest of the outfits from the outlet mall. I'm pretty happy with what we got. The part of the outfit that's from Off-White was actually bought online like two weeks ago. Same with the Helmet Lang or Helm. I don't want to never can get the names exactly right but i just checked the item is not for sale anymore but they have a few items from the line that's still for sale i bought some on neiman market some of them are far fetched i'm gonna try to find as many links as i can and more and more stuff is going on sale guys i'm telling you there's about to be like 90 percent of off-white half off okay so now we're gonna check in back home and then we're gonna show you guys everything that we got break down and then show you guys some fire together of all the outfit because i cannot wait to show you what the outfit looks like with some cinematic shots because it's nice and overcast other than that i think that's all i need to do so i just got back and i'm not even gonna lie i went ahead and even bought something that has nothing to do with clothes i bought this huge personal led light box it was literally like 14 dollars, and they sell these at urban outfitters for like 50. I bought one for my mom last year and it's like half the size. Got this and all the clothes. So now we have to get back over to the chair and uh, keep this going. All right, so we made it back from all of these different stores. We got a few things that were from online right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the different things, tell you guys about the pricing, and then we're gonna go ahead, show you guys how the outfits look on us, and then talk when we're out there. And like, I'll break down everything as I'm wearing it, kind of why I went with whatever I'm wearing. First place I went to is Neiman Marcus Last Call, and I'm gonna show you guys the base of everything, which is the pants. I went with one pair of pants, but there are a few things that could be used. There's probably gonna be like two or three outfits total. I would say two full outfits. I went for a pair of Seven for All Mankind jeans. This is a pair of denim that originally retailed at $190. Great brand, they're soft denim, they're really nice quality, but this particular one, it came down to $84 and it has a specific look that I was looking for. So I've seen Virgil, the creator of Off-White, wearing a few different pairs of pants that are slim around the legs, but kind of go a little bit wider down by the feet, but not like a bell bottom or flared bottom pant, but more just kind of like, honestly, it reminds me of like the skater era of like the way pants were worn. These are called the seven standard jeans. They're a size 30, but they're kind of like a 34 length. I'm gonna show you guys what these look like on, but they're just solid black, nice pair of denim, $84 what they came out to. Then I went for two different tops. The first one right here was originally $225 down to $101, size large, and it's kind of like a thicker flannel. I plan on wearing this open with a graphic tee underneath that will go perfect with this. So 100 on that, Rag & Bone is a great company. I think they have really good quality items and there's a lot of more essential items rather than being, you know, crazy pieces. So this is one that I really like the colors and it matches is perfect to the shirt that I got from off Sex Fifth Avenue to kind of match with it. So the shirt that I got was this right here, which is a Kendrick University t-shirt that has a little bit of blue here. But the thing I like about this company is called Eleven Paris is the shirts are like a vintage wash. They're super soft. And this originally was $70 and it was marked down to $25.99 or $24.99. So the fit is going to be great. It's a little bit baggier. That's the look I was going for. To match the blue that comes on here, I think is going to look amazing. Along with another top that I got was from Rag & Bone. I thought it was too unique to kind of not put it in there. And it was this denim jacket right here. It's only $500 and a 247 still up there with 50% off nonetheless. I think it's just a really great look. I think it could go well a lot of different things. So I went with this with this t-shirt, which is kind of weird, but reminds me of, I think they're called, they're called Furby, Furbies. That's what they were. It says Troublemaker and it's got the little guy there. This I think will look really good under that because it doesn't have the blues. The blues on the other one might, you know, I don't know how it'll look with the green, but I think wearing this inside out where it can kind of see the graphic, but not like fully will look really nice. Like that's, that's the look I plan to go for. I did go for a few accessories and one is these ball mom sunglasses. I wanted to get some sort of accessory to kind of throw the outfit together, bring some different accessory pieces, not just the outfit. These are originally for $425 down to $90. Bucks. Balmain is a very great company. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And it comes with this, obviously. I didn't know if this pair was a little bit more feminine of kind of like a fit, but it said it was a male sunglasses, but I just feel like kind of how it like points. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Then we got a few things from online. One was a shirt from Helmet Lang, which I don't know if it'll look good together. I'll throw it on just so you guys can see. It was this short sleeve button down right here. It's kind of different. I initially got this, I ordered this like two weeks ago along with the other piece. And then when I saw this stuff, I like that so much better. This was originally, it's marked down on here. It was originally 310 down to 217 down to 140. And I think it was down to $89 when I bought it online. And it's super soft, great quality. I don't know how it'll look with everything together. And then the last accessory is from Off White, which is something cool. It's, I can't remember, I think I got it on Farfetch. It was literally like two weeks ago. They have a few items on there I checked now that are still on sale from the Off White Gore-Tex thing that's going on, got going on. I know the pants are like 50% off. I know like the jacket's 50% off. This was originally $500, $495, I believe. And it's down to like $250. It was half off essentially. As you can see, it is just a nice little over the shoulder bag. Got the red strap and then the black strap here. I just thought this would look really good to kind of throw in with everything. Even though the color's a little bit different, I feel like it could all mesh together. Now let me show you guys me with the outfits on so you can get a piece of them. And then when we're out there, we're gonna talk about the outfits and how I feel and why I picked the certain pieces.
to pick an outfit, sorry this lens is like super blur. If I had to pick an outfit that I like, it would be the first one because of just the way it's more relaxed. I'm not typically used to wearing jackets like this. And the shirt probably would look better normally instead of inside out, but I still like the way that everything looks. I just kind of think that these pants would look the best with high tops. There are the outfits. What do you guys think? This is fun because I haven't put together like full outfits in a while and I like the way that this kind of went. I like this outfit the best, honestly. I need a better pair of shoes to wear with it, I think. If this whole outfit had like, if it was like all black, it would be perfect with the Grim Reapers. These look so good with kind of the whole flow of the pants. The other outfit's not bad. It's just not something I would wear more. I would wear this more for sure. Like those blues, I really like it. And I just think the whole outfit, I'm, I'm a fan of it. I'll link some of these items below if I can find them. Try to get you guys some more deals. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.